Hi, I'm Laurie Baker with the Center for Rural Enterprise Engagement, and in this video, we're going to talk about pulling it all together. That includes final editing and actually posting your video. Before you export or download your video, make sure you check for consistent branding throughout it and look for grammatical errors. Also watch the complete video with the sound on to see if there's anything you don't like or would like to change. You can also create a subscribe outro if you want to use one. Later in this video, we'll cover more details on what that is and how you might want to use one within YouTube. In Adobe Spark, you simply click on download and a screen will pop up while it's downloading. Some of these messages are actually quite helpful. If it takes you a while to download, you might learn something extra. After it's downloaded, you simply save it where you would like to on your computer and it's ready to upload to YouTube or Facebook or wherever you would like to use it. Recommended formats for your video are MP4, MOV, AVI, 1920, by 1080. The most common and easiest to use is MP4. It will be a slightly lower quality, but not noticeably in an online video. Uploading to YouTube is probably the easiest and most popular option. We cover some pros and cons of these in our analytics video, but here we'll talk about uploading directly to YouTube. Before we get into the steps, just a note of caution. These steps were correct at the time we recorded this video, but YouTube changes settings regularly. If you notice something that's inaccurate, feel free to comment on this video and let us know, and we'll try to update it and help you find the right steps. But you also can do some Google searches on your own. YouTube regularly updates their tutorials, as well as many YouTubers out there. We often find they change these settings quickly, but we'll do our best to keep up. You start uploading by going to your YouTube channel and clicking on this little video camera in the right top and clicking upload video. You will then get this screen where you can drag and drop your files or you can upload your files where you save them on your computer. While your video is uploading, you're given a lot of choices to work on. You need to complete the basic information, including the title of your video, the description of your video, and all of the tags so people can find your video easier. Also, you'll notice in this bottom circle, you need to select a thumbnail for your video. You can either select the options available there or create a custom one, but that's a topic for another day. Once you've created your basic information, click on your Advanced tab. And under the Advanced tab, you'll need to change a few settings, like the visibility of your video to public, you want everyone to see it, include the date that it's been recorded, what category it fits into, and you'll also want to confirm over here in this circle that your video has never been on television in the U.S. This will start the automatic captioning process. Once you save your advanced settings, go back to your basic info page and you'll notice you'll have the option to publish, but as indicated by this X, I don't recommend doing it just yet. Instead, click at the green area here on YouTube Studio Beta so that you can make some advanced settings to your video. Once you get into the upload beta version, you'll be asked to confirm your basic settings and your advanced settings. But this time in your advanced settings, you'll have a few more options, like this end screen. Click on end screen. Once you click on end screen, you'll get a screen that looks like this, and you can add different elements to something that's already in your video. We used a free program called Canva and designed a graphic using our own logo to make a subscribe button and some other buttons. We did have to pay a small fee for the subscribe button, but it was pretty simple, and then we embedded it at the end of each of our videos. That allowed us to create the active elements within the YouTube editor to add this screen here where we display our most recent videos and to actually activate the subscribe button so when people click on it, they subscribe to your channel. You can also choose down here at the bottom where in your video you want this to start. Once you've added your active elements, you can go ahead and click Done and you are so close to having your video completed. You may want to click on Return Back to Video Editor to confirm a few things. 
I recommend that you check your video details before you start sharing it and embedding it places. You can do this if you leave it in draft form in the YouTube studio and just click on edit draft and you can check things like playlist. For some reason, this is something YouTube always likes to change or leave off for me. Also, you can check your tags and your spelling and your title and all of those things before you move forward. If you've already published your video, that's totally okay. You can actually go to your video URL and you see the video at the top. And then if you scroll down, you see this little blue button that says edit video. You can click on that and you can go back and edit the details of your video, not the video itself, but you can edit what playlist it's on and edit closed captions and that sort of thing. And that is a wrap for the final process. Remember to review your entire video for mistakes and sound quality, download it in the correct format that you need, and follow the proper steps to upload your video successfully to YouTube. Continue learning with us at ruleengagement.org or subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at our home institution. If you enjoyed our content, remember to subscribe to our channel by clicking here or specifically like this video and share with your friends.